welcome to Hedgehog Hollow. Today is a viewer requested video all about scoreboards. Now, I use the score buddy all of the time, but lots of you have asked, why do I use the score buddy over, say, the UK Success, over the We Are Memory Keepers? And there is a Stampin' Up! version as well. Now, I went out and bought the We Are and the EK Success version. I don't have my Stampin' Up! one anymore. Um, Stampin' Up! make a perfectly fine one. It's actually made by another company from what I knew previously. They may have changed the designs uh, somewhat, but it's kind of much to muchness, and you'll see when you see the we are and the EK version that they're kind of similar and you'll the kind of features are similar to that the Stampin' Up! one so you'll see why I chose the score buddy over those as well. Um, so let's kind of dive in and look at why I chose the score buddy and some features of the other ones. You may find a tool you love specifically and then you can kind of decide from there. Again craft tools are such a personal thing I say this in every kind of review video because I'll tell you the features of all of them and then you may find something you love. We will link all of them in the video description for you below and then if we have any coupons and things we'll link those for you. You can also go to thehedgehoghollow.com and sign up for our newsletter. Every Friday we send out a newsletter that has all of the latest kind of sales, coupon codes, and there's also some exclusive Hedgehog Hollow coupon codes as well. So you can get those, they come out every single Friday afternoon for you too. Um, so let's dive in and take a look at the three that I have here. So you can see size-wise they're kind of similar. Um, the EK Tools is the largest and the We Are Memory Keepers is kind of the smallest. Um, there are also large versions of all of these and they have similar tools, functions, etc. So you're going to kind of have those similar things in there. Um, now I should say that We Are and EK are all part of the American Crafts family so you're going to find that they are very similar as well. Um, and then you have the score buddy as well, which is designed by Diana Crick and I'm a huge Magnolia Stamps fan So if you are into your Magnolia Stamps, you'll buy from Diana, I'm sure here in the US because she uh, sells all of them here So that's the score pal for you And um, so the score pal is the large one and the score buddy is the small one. Now, why do you use a um, scoreboard well there are a couple of reasons and I folded these two cards earlier so this is a card that it's just a regular card base that I folded by hand and you can see here yes it has a great fold in it well first of all I have inky hands who doesn't end up with inky hands when they're um, crafting so you end up using your inky fingers because you end up scoring and I always even when I use my scoreboard I end up firming it up with my bone folder I am a recent convert to the Teflon bone folder a because it avoids some of that inkiness and B I really like this curved surface it gives me a really nice fold and Greg did it and did explain the engineering reason as to why that happens you can watch one of his videos if you'd like to know the why um, but what I end up with if I don't use a scoreboard are these little kind of cracks and tears along the edge now a scoreboard stops all of that this is one I did with a scoreboard and I have a really nice crisp fold down the edge and the other thing you'll notice is if I put them down like this the one that I did with the scoreboard will sit much flatter than the one that I did without. So they're kind of the differences between them. So a scoreboard is going to give you a nice, crisp, professional fold. It's going to give you a flatter card. Um, it just gives you a much nicer finish. And they're also great if you want to make things like boxes and things like that. You're going to be able to make those scores in there. So if we look at the EK and the We Are ones first, because they're really quite similar apart from the size. They're going to have um, your markings on here and they have score lines every quarter of an inch. They're all going to come with some kind of bone folder in. And I'm going to turn this towards me because I tried to do this earlier upside down and it really is hard. So they have a score line at the top and then you just go all the way down. So if I take my piece of cardstock like this and I pop it in, if I wanted to score every quarter of an inch I can do that. I just pop my tool in at the top and I can do that. Or if I wanted to score every inch, I can do that, like so, like so, like so, etc, etc. So it's really easy to just go all the way along like that. And then I have this area that I can then just clip in like that. So that's how you would do it on the EK. And then if I went to the We Are, I'm going to turn my cardstock around exactly the same and actually it's pretty much the same design apart from the fact that my little bone folder kind of clips in slightly differently if i recall with this one you have a slide mechanism so you will see here i just slide my tool to the side 
and it lifts up. So it has a little bit of a better catch in there to hold in, but it has those same teeth every quarter of an inch. So I can do quarter of an inch, or I can do every inch, I can do every half inch, etc. etc. And I get a really nice crisp fold. Now, when I'm scoring, I like to score both sides. And the whole point of scoring is paper is made up of fibers that are stuck together and the scoring just breaks those fibers down and gives you a better fold. So you can see here, if I now wanted to start concertinaing, it's just going to happen much, much nicer. So I could start making nice folds, uh, galley folds, valley folds, all those kinds of things really nice and easily. Um, and I'm going to get a nice crisp fold in there. So that's the whole point. And I would just recommend if you're going to do that, make sure you score in both sides. You're going to get a much better fold. The one thing I'm also going to say about the We Are is you have inch markings and then you also have centimeter markings. So at the top here we have inches and at the bottom here we have centimeters. And your centimeters are not going to line up perfectly because obviously centimeters and inches are different. So um, if you wanted to score every centimetre, you're not going to necessarily have a score line at that centimetre and it can get as close as you possibly can. But for instance, I'm not going to be able to score at four centimetres. It's going to be just over the four centimetres or just under the four centimetre mark. But you can work out your centimetre equivalents if you've watched a, say, a British or European tutorial and they've said score every centimetre. You can roughly work out what your equivalent's going to be down at the bottom there. The others don't have that option, although there are uh, European versions of them available as well. So then I can then take my little uh, tool and I can put it on the top there and that is one of the most secure. The other thing about the We Are is on the back you have an envelope score guide. So you can see here you have your size of card, you have the size of paper you're going to need to create your envelope. So for instance if I have my four and a half by five and a half um, card. I'm going to need an eight by eight piece of paper and I'm going to need my three and a half alignment. My three and a half alignment makes sense down the side here. That's where I'm going to start my scoring. And then you have all your score guides. I also have these fun designs in here that I can emboss into things. So it just has a little bit kind of extra in there. It's a nice little added bonus. And then I have my how to. So it says select card size, trim paper to corresponding paper size, align the left edge to the alignment guide, score, rotate, score, rotate, score, etc. And then cut, fold and emboss shapes to decorate. So it just tells you how to create your envelope on there. So it's just a nice little add on from the reverse to have that envelope score guide on the back. Um, and none of the others have that one. Although, uh, actually, I didn't know that this is new. I used to have this old EK score guide and I didn't have this on the back. So you now have on the back of your EK one, although this one is thoroughly confusing compared to the uh, back of the We Are. So that's the back of your We Are. Really easy to work with. Um, this one here says standard size four bar A2, A6, A7 to score paper, to create a card, to create an envelope. So there are a ton of markings on here um, and different things on here. How to create your envelope, how to create your scored paper and then how to create your card as well. So I have to say, um, I'm trying to work out how I would do that, but it looks thoroughly confusing. Possibly if I read the instructions, I might be in a better place. I was kind of taken by surprise turning that one over. I knew about the EK one because I had seen it on the packet, um, but I never knew that this one had it on the back. So you do have that option on the EK as well. Um, now the score buddy definitely does not have that on the back because I've had this one a long time, but I really like this one. You'll have seen, I use this in all of my videos and let me show you what I like about it. So there's a couple of things. Greg's gonna appreciate this one as the engineer. The fact that I can press my button and my little tool pops out. It's a tiny thing, but I think it's a kind of neat little feature in there. I also really like the tool itself. Um, it just happens to, I think it gives you a really nice fold as well, or crease I should say. Also you have a huge variety of folds. It's not every um, quarter inch like the others, but the other thing that I've always used again and again and again on here is the fact it has a start at four and a quarter. So I take my card base, I pop out my little tool and I never have to think, oh, how big's my card stock? And I know that that star, there is my line. 
and it's done. My car base is scored, ready to go. I would quickly turn it over. I would do the opposite side. And there I go. There is no thinking about cutting, measuring, any of those things. This is just done and ready to go. So that's kind of the biggest thing from my perspective. Um, I also like the fact that it has a really nice thick guy. So if I'm using something a little bit thicker. I also like the fact that it has a stopper at the top here. So you can see how it stops and it really kind of digs in and slips all the way down like that as well. It also has fully open sides here. Whereas if I grab this EK one, it has this little piece up here that stops your paper. So if you have a really large piece of paper that goes over that, um, I have kind of torn a few cards on one of these previously. I had the EK one for a while and I did tear a few things on that little kind of nodule over here, which was slightly frustrating. Whereas the score buddy is completely open. That was another reason for me that I really liked it. Um, of course I can score up my five and a half if I have my long card base as well. And you could add yourself a little Sharpie star at the top there as well. It would make it even better for me if they had added that in a little star there too but I do like the fact my little four and a quarter is there too and then this one just kind of clips in and off we go so again just another fun design on it as well so as I say um or the other thing I didn't mention is your school buddy comes with a little pouch to keep it in and it may surprise you to know if you know me well enough that I do actually keep it in its little pouched bag um again just a Silly little thing but the fact it fits in there and as I say all of these come in a larger size too so um craft tools are all very personal if I was going to make an envelope I have an envelope punch board that's my preferred way of making a custom envelope if I don't have the right size um but just a nice feature uh, I don't think I would use the EK one I think I would use this we are one if I was going to be using one at all so I hope you found that review useful. As I say, don't forget to check out the links in the description if we have any coupons, we'll up those on. You can also, of course, check out the hedgehogholo.com and sign up for our newsletter for our Friday coupons, deals, and steals. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for future videos as well. Do give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this review. As I say, totally personal choice. Hopefully we found one that you would enjoy in your craft room as well. And we'll see you again in another video very soon. Happy stamping, everyone. Bye.